Magic 107.3. It's evening in the studio today. I have Lil Duval. Woo-hoo! What's up? What's up? Welcome. I'm just out here, Kansas City, just doing my thing. We got two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow, two shows Sunday at the Improv. It's going down. So make sure you get your tickets. You Improvkc.com is where you can get your tickets. Mm-hmm. Now tell everyone, oh, we have to also introduce. Not, wait, 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 wait. It's not about, you see, y'all boosting his head. Yeah, but they, they're going to want to know Don't who he is. No, nope. there's together. someone else in the see, building. Like you, you don't. You see what happened with Welvin in A Town? He brought don't, the don't, ice don't, out don't chain. Don't do that. Me to know Welvin. Why? No compa- you got the same teeth as him. <laughs> <laughs> you got the same teeth. Who? Oh, you. you. Nah, they have... looking in camera. This is on camera lie. so they can see your teeth. Nah, my tongue is clean. Okay, yeah. so we have Jay Ski in the building. Unfortunately. Yes. Yeah, With the iced out chain. Oh, I love Lord. it. Oh, oh, and Lord. I got to put my Versace's on for that oh, one. Love. Come on now. Come hey, on. ask why he got them shades on, though. Okay, because he's so icy. No, because he's blind. <laughs> he's blind. They prescription shades. <laughs> All that. They prescription <laughs> shades. Cause he be wearing them to sleep. He be reading in bed with shades on. Oh, nothing wrong with <laughs> that. Take them off. Show, show him how thick them glasses hey, is. Hey, show him. Yeah, hey, maybe yeah, I should wear yeah, them for the yeah, rest yeah. of the interview. Yeah. yeah. Act in front of the company. Yeah. He's right. supposed to be on here. Act in front of company. He is opening up for Lil Duval at the Improv. <laughs> Yeah, so, I'm. I'm trying so to. Yeah, bre- I've been trying, trying to break up with him for a long time. This is like a hard, abusive relationship. He won't get out of this. I ain't going nowhere. So See, you guys go way back. Nah. Jokes in, jokes out. <laughs> Jay Ski is from Virginia. Duval, we all know that you're from Florida. Yeah, Jacksonville, Florida. That's what Duval stands for. Believe it or not, that's what we go by counties in Florida. Mm-hmm. Du- Dade, Duval, um, Orange County. So it's just a rep. When I can't, when I can't rep it. Voice, when you say my name, you're still repping where I'm from. Okay, I see you. Well, today we're repping Kansas City, yeah, home of barbecue, and City. the Royals. Oh, I'm finna go. I'm going to Gates after this. You are? Yeah, yeah. I always go to Gates. You know, they always show me. They always bring food for me to the show. Brother KT. Yeah, yeah, Shout yeah. out to yeah. Brother Shout KT. Out. Shout out to KT. So, I mean, I got to come back and support. Shout out to them. Yeah, okay. Well, um, let's get to it. So, we loved your movie, School Dance, and then also Meet the Blacks. Yeah, thank y'all for supporting Meet the Blacks. It just... Um, it's at like ten million now. Oh, congratulations! Yeah, yeah. we only shot it for like eight hundred thousand. Wow, eight hundred thousand. That's what they use for craft services for Batman Returns. <laughs> wow. So that's so that's major for an independent movie, you know. So shout out to Mike Epps and everybody else that's in the movie. You know, I got another movie coming out um, end of this year called Grow House, written and directed by um, DJ Pooh. Uh, and Jay in it too. Wait, 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 wait. wait. He's in it like he walks past the screen. <laughs> but in still, it, he's he walks in it. Past the screen. He's gonna tell his whole family that he's gonna be in it. it. He's hey, proud of all it. All I can say is, don't look down at your phone, hey. nail part. <laughs> 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 yeah, all on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put, Let him yeah, know. He got 10 seconds, so it's good for Snapchat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to look like he all in the movie on Snapchat. <laughs> but when you go see the movie, yeah. you're going to be waiting a long time. So, okay, so what? tell me the name of that movie again. Grow House. Grow House. When can we expect it? Uh, the end of the year. Maybe like in fall, uh, in fall? winter time, somewhere around that time. I don't, I don't know the exact day. I'd be lying if I told you. But y'all. just know it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. It's the same. DJ Poole, if y'all don't know, he's the same guy that wrote Friday and di- directed Friday. Okay. So you see what that was. That's still a classic 20 years later. So hopefully that's what this will be, too. Yeah. So, of course, I remember you from comic. Because I feel like you're, okay, you're on MTV now. Well, mm-hmm. we see you on MTV. But mm-hmm. I feel like people just think that you popped up out of nowhere. I mean, but that's but, everybody, though. People I think, know. People think Kevin Hart popped up out of nowhere. And Kevin been doing He's it longer been than me. He's been here forever. He's been doing it longer than me. But that's that's how it goes. You know, people only see your success. They, mm-hmm. don't, they don't care about the grind. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, right now, you're on the grind right now. You got people showing you love, mm-hmm. but at the same time, people not paying no attention. Yeah. It just goes with the territory. You yeah, know? so tell people how long you've been in the comedy game. 16 years. Wow. Yeah, but that's that's not a long time in, in stand-up, you know, because think about, think about people like Steve Harvey. Mm-hmm. He's been, he probably, like, at 40 years now, yeah. you know? Or Cab been doing it 20 years. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, it's not a long time. You We, I think, is hip-hop got us thinking, like, all right, you got to blow up now, but it's mm-hmm. not like really like that in in stand up, which is a good thing. Yeah, you have you to shoot for longevity. Being a rapper at fifty years old. Yeah, but you don't look stupid being a being a comedian at fifty. You yeah. get funnier the older you get. And I remember you from. Um, you, you really support me. I yeah, like that. Yeah, like, I remember you back from stuff. Comic View, and then back when One Hundred Six and Park was yeah, on, and then Cedar World, that, yeah. and the Basement. I yeah, remember I you in all rap. those rap See, videos. I like people like you. I, yes. You, you can tell when people interview you, they just read Wikipedia. 
No. The first thing they say is, <laughs> so you was on tour with, so you was on tour with Cedric Entertainer. Like that was thing there 13, 14 years ago. Yeah. If that's all I did, I need to quit stand up. Exactly. So you need to know who you're interviewing before you interview. Yeah, I remember. Of course you know, I remember I appreciate you. That. But you didn't remember me when you walked in today. But see, I don't know you. It's okay. You know, I, I didn't I, study okay, you. But okay. see, now I know you now. Now you're going to remember and now me. I'm going to keep up with you. you know, I, I, when, how did we meet? How did we meet? No, here in the studio. Because oh, I really? started off as an intern and then I'm like gla- gradually moving you see slowly, how that works? slowly. You see how that works fast? Like it's a gradual growth. You see a progression? Follow a progression. You can learn a lot more from her than me. Yes. <laughs> Real yes. talk. Definitely. Real. Look, we what took a mean? picture. What you mean definitely? Definitely. Learn a whole lot. You can see this on TV, just high school dropout. Oh man, let me tell you about that, man. I'm on the thing. This is how they introduced me. They said. <laughs> They said he came from a high school dropout. Now he's here. What? Give it up. Yeah. Throwing shade. Yes, that was shade. I almost thought it was racist. Yeah. Cause, yeah, because we was on the Kansas City, Kansas City side. Come Uh-oh. on now. Uh-oh. Come on now. Shots fired. No, I ain't barely grinding. That, that, no, no, barely. no. You damn near wasn't dropping. No, no, I wasn't the last. I was listen, like, listen, go ahead, go but you ahead, can make something ahead. of yourself, though. We would talk about you graduate. Well, when, I graduated. Yeah, in the forties. Yeah, yeah. In the forties. I feel like I need to sit in between you two, so we yeah. don't have any fights. My bad. My bad. No you messed fights. up the interview. See, no, that's no, why I don't okay. want them on there. Go it's ahead. okay. I'm sorry. We took a picture together, and my Twitter went crazy because you were wearing a red puffy jacket. And you like lean down, and I put my arm around you, and everyone's like, "It looks like she's taking him out to recess." <laughs> Why are you laughing so hard? Uh, hey, 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 rep- hey! No, uh, no, you I'll don't. Show no, you don't. You after the no, interview. You don't. No, you don't. I'll post it no, like don't. a flashback Friday. Yeah, she need that. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. let me post some of your stuff. Come on, you already do. Yeah. So I tell people it. you have a show tonight. At, well, all weekend long, he's going to be at the Improv. Tell people what they can expect when they go to a little Duval show. You can expect to laugh. You know, that's all I can say. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what you come to comedy for, right? Mm-hmm. And I mean, for the most part, y'all, I pretty much showed y'all I'm funny. So, I mean, if you don't come now, I don't care. Because we still going to be popping anyway. Oh, because everybody everybody that show me love, that's one thing I would say. My supporters, when they support me, they really support me. So yeah. if you don't come, that's your bad. You missing out. So what happened to Guy Code? Still here. Still here? Just, okay. Yeah, we just shot the new season. Matter of fact, that's where I came from right before I came in. I was in New York. We were shooting the last season. Okay. It's been on for a minute now. I know. You know it's been on so long, I done grew. I done had puberty. That's how long it's been on. So You've I mean, given a lot of men yeah. some really great tips. Yeah, what yeah. are? Can you give me at least three guy code rules that you live by? Um, if you're gonna cheat, fellas, cheat with somebody that got as much to lose with you that, as you do. Okay. That's what. That's one. That's a main one. You cheat with somebody that got a girl, that got a boyfriend. So if if you get caught, we get caught. So that's it's bu- a real game. That's okay. A real game. So that's guy code number one for Lil Duval. What's the second one? Um, I don't know. What was, um, always look out for your homeboys, even when they are losers. <laughs> That's you loud. just agree. Well, yeah, well. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you talking about losers. <laughs> tell, him, tell him about what happened yesterday, Jay. <laughs> I, my flight got canceled. Yeah, he was supposed to be performing for y'all yesterday. Uh-oh. Like, my flight got he gonna try a buddy pass hey, last bro, hey, minute. Bro, hey, and mind you, he got money. Hey, bro. He just cheap. It's okay to save money, though. Not, not on work. Got to save that money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's exactly no, what happened. Take no buddy pass. Loser. Wait a minute. Butter pass is the worst because they treat you like you are nobody. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened was I was there on time, was ready, and the flight got got canceled. A flight to Philly, and all them people rolled over. But you know that. Huh? You know how to do on buddy pass. You hey, know bro, the flight day bro. before if you got business. Bro. But all that That's matters. Do that day. All that matters. What? The movie I'm doing. What movie? That ain't. ain't yeah, you ain't that's doing that's no movie. You're a liar, just like half the people who, in Hollywood. Who a liar? You. Round up a liar. Yeah. Look, yeah. Look, yeah. look, 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 all that up. matters. Show them your lineup. You ain't got hey, one. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All that matters yeah. is he's, he's here today. We'll be we'll be at the Improv tonight though. You we you'll see us. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna be talking about him bad. I'm gonna talk about him. About my life on the road with this guy. You talk about me, I'm fine. Life experiences. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Pause, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, See? they're making up now. So let's talk about, okay, so Lunell, comedian Lunell, she was uh, going, I mean, her and Nene Leakes were going back and forth, and Lunell said were they that. Were going back and forth, or did she just make a statement? Well, That's let's, all she let's, did was well, make let's a statement. talk about that. What did you think about Lunell's statement that she made? I understood where she was coming from, you know, but, like, you, what I underst- what I get, what I learned in this business, you can't blame the person that's gay. That's like blaming Kim Kardashian 
for for people giving her twenty million dollars. If mm-hmm. somebody gave you, you're not gonna turn it down. Absolutely, you gotta blame the consumer. If the people fall for it, you would think they would have learned by like people like Charlotte Sheen and stuff. Like Charlotte Sheen, he did a tour. He never did a stand up in his life, but people bought it. So who's the loser? I mean, who's the dummy? Yeah, it's the people. The so consumer. you can't blame. Like comedy clubs, they just a venue. They 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 going if if somebody can fill some seats up, they gonna put them in there, and that's what Nene New Leaks did. If I was, I would have took the money too. So it's the it's the consumer. If the consumer the consumer is kind of dumb, they don't know people. They don't get the difference in stand up, and they don't, they just see funny. Mm-hmm. You know, they don't know. Like the like me and Charlemagne talk about it all day. I don't know if y'all know Charlemagne. Yes, yeah, so I know Charlemagne. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Charlemagne. People swear Charlemagne is a stand up comedian, but he don't do it. He that. knows his lane. He says I'm not gonna do yeah, it. He tell you he don't do it. She said it too, but that's like a that's almost like a saying I can't fight. So it's almost so it's almost like you telling the crowd, look, it, worst case scenario, even if I bomb, I told y'all, mm-hmm. which ain't fun. I mean mm-hmm. that ain't real, you know, but. That's how they, but people fall for it. So I don't blame neither one of them. But yeah. I blame the crowd. Well, how do you feel about people um, saying that they're comedians with just like you I, know? Again, 10 I sec- blame the consumer. People can't say, but a person can tell you a lot. The person that believe it. True. That's the person that's dumb. True. You know, it ain't the person. I mean, if if somebody going, if I tell somebody this costs a million dollars, they gonna give it to them. You think I'm saying, no, nah, I'm just playing. I'm gonna take that million dollars. Yeah. It's the person. Okay, so then we can't hate the consumer. You, no, you gotta hate the consumer. We gotta, uh, yeah. we gotta hate the consumer. Yeah, but not, don't hate the game. Yeah, you can't hate the game. It's the person that falls for it, which is the crowd.